Welcome to Pointwise's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a couple of minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the boundaries of quilts. Let's go ahead and switch to Pointwise to understand the problem at hand. As you can see here, I have a simple blade that is obviously composed of multiple surfaces. In our particular case, we're interested in the blunt trailing edge, which is that blue quilt over there. And more specifically, we're interested in the boundaries between that blue quilt and the rest of the surfaces. As you can see up here, we have one nice clean boundary throughout the entire blade. However, down here, that same boundary is broken up into smaller pieces. So what happens if we select the entire model and we create connectors on database entities? As you would expect, Pointwise creates one connector per each bounding curve. So down here we have multiple connectors, which is not ideally what we want. So how can we resolve this problem at the database level? Let's go ahead and go to Create, Assemble, Quilts. As you can see, there is a new option here called Boundary Angle. This option allows you to define a turning angle that is going to be used to assemble the boundaries of quilts. So I'm going to define an angle of 20, select all the quilts, and as you can see right here, we have little squares that are markers indicating the beginning and end of those bounding curves. Let's click Assemble, and we went from having all those markers and the smaller bounding curves to having nice clean boundary curves along the entire surface of the blade as you would expect. I'm going to click OK. And if I select the entire model and create connectors on database entities, now you can actually see if you follow that blue surface that instead of having smaller connectors throughout the surface of the blade, I have only one connector, which is ideally what I want. The same option to assemble the boundaries of quilts is available in Create, Assemble, Models. As you can see, there's an option over there, which is Boundary Angle, and it's going to do the same thing. Last but not least, this option is available on Import. File, Import Database. And there's one option over here, which is Quill Boundary Assemble Angle, that is going to allow you to do the exact same thing. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.